Finally, after moving countries and doing what feels like months of careful consideration and planning, I'm excited to show you how I put together my 2022 desk and gaming setup. And I have a feeling that this may be one of the cleanest, most capable and versatile setups you'll ever see. To start things off, the foundation of this setup is the new Sway desk from Ergon Office. When they found out that I was moving from the UK to Vancouver, Ergon Office were kind enough to send this my way, and it is hands down the nicest desk that I have ever owned. I find that a white frame helps the desk blend in with the white walls of our apartment, and because it's also on casters, it can be moved around the room super easily. I paired this frame with a beautiful 30 by 60 inch maple desktop that's locally handcrafted out of thick, solid, locally sourced Canadian timber. And what I think sets this desk apart from others are the whisper quiet motors and a sleek touchscreen interface that's recessed into the timber desktop, where there's an incredibly satisfying tactile swipe gesture that encourages me to switch my desk between my preset standing and sitting heights. This updated version of the Sway Desk takes just 15 minutes to assemble with only 18 screws and as expected, the desk allows for micro adjustment, different heights for different users, customizable units and languages, and even interval reminders to keep you moving. But most importantly, Ergon Office are also Montreal based and a certified B Corp. So I know that this desk is from a company with both high standards of social and environmental accountability. When moving from the UK, I actually managed to fit my giant 32-inch 4K gaming monitor into an oversized suitcase, and somehow it still made it here in one piece. This is my Gigabyte M32U, which is not only 4K and 32 inches wide, but also 144Hz for fast-paced first-person shooter games like Warzone. The reason I chose this monitor over others is because it provides a high enough resolution and colour accuracy for video editing, but also a high enough refresh rate for gaming, meaning that I can do everything off one monitor, which is really helpful for satisfying my compulsive minimalist tendencies. Of course, instead of just using the supplied stand, I chose to mount it to the desk using a heavy duty monitor arm, as this monitor weighs a ton, where I actually shamefully used some unsightly leftover cardboard for added protection to the worktop. However, as this stand frees up a bunch of desk area, it's foundational to the sleek minimalist aesthetic that I'm going for. Another reason I chose this monitor in particular is because it also has integrated speakers and a ton of ports, which turns it into a bit of a USB hub for your PC. This also meant I could add these USB LED cob strips to the back, which run entirely off the monitor, meaning there's one less power cable to manage and it provides the workspace with a dimmable ambient glow, which reduces eye strain and provides quite a nice vibe to the room. Powering this whole setup is my NZXT H1 gaming PC, which really packs a punch for its tiny size with a Ryzen 5900X processor and NVIDIA 2070 Super graphics card. And as PCs are upgradable, I will be swapping these components out as needed, which makes a ton of financial sense when compared to something like a laptop or a Mac, as you don't have to replace the whole unit. And most importantly, because it's a PC, it completely eliminated the necessity of owning a hard to find next gen games console. Despite thinking it looks pretty awesome, I still decided to mount it to the underside of the desk using a really affordable PC mount which simply hangs it with straps. And because this case is so compact, it makes this small but mighty all-in-one setup almost invisible. However, to make this a clean and powerful yet movable workspace, it really needs to function in its entirety off one cable, so you can easily unplug it when moving it around the room to another outlet, which means attaching everything to one single power strip mounted underneath the desk. The power strip I found for the job has three outlets on three sides rather than having nine along just one side. This allows the cables to exit these outlets parallel to the desk, meaning that nothing hangs downwards and everything stays super flush to the underside of the desktop. So using some super strong nano tape, I stuck it to the underside of the desk and because the power strip is rated for over 1800 watts, it allows me to plug in everything without worrying about blowing it up. 
Having the power strip, PC and monitor all relatively close together made things a lot easier to cable manage. And to keep things tight to the underside of the desk, I purchased this white low profile cable raceway kit. As well as nicely matching the frame, in my opinion, what makes this superior to any other cable management system is the fact that it has a bunch of openings down the sides. I found that this makes it perfect for mounting to the undersides of desks, as it allows cables to pass in and out of the raceway wherever they need to, and it also holds them snugly in place while you work with them. With cable management taken care of, on top of the desk I added in a solid maple desk shelf from Grovemade that matches the maple desk perfectly. When you're serious about reducing clutter, desk shelves are worth every single penny as they hold so much while keeping the work surface relatively free. And I find that this desk shelf from Grovemade in particular provides a bunch of visual interest with its chamfered edge, cork legs and aluminium middle shelf, which is great for hiding things. In here I stashed two vanity trays which catch all my little camera bits and my EDC where I've also been experimenting with a Spigen MagSafe wallet, case and charging stand. Under the desk shelf there's still enough space to store and charge my laptop which is the Razer Blade 14 which isn't really part of the setup but I do keep it handy for travel and remote work and here I can leave it to charge using a super sleek and compact 200 watt GAN charger from Ugreen that provides all of the super fast charging I could possibly need across all of my devices. Moving on to peripherals, I'm still rocking the Iconix F96 Knight wireless mechanical keyboard, which has RGB LED backlighting that I usually leave off for battery life and cherry brown switches, which aside from suiting my minimal aesthetic by having really subtle lettering, it provides a gorgeous tactile and satisfying typing experience. I've paired this keyboard with a Logitech G305 gaming mouse that I debadged with some rubbing alcohol and I've found this to complement the keyboard perfectly as it's not only lightweight and highly accurate but it's also black with a really minimal and understated design. When using a keyboard and mouse I've also found that using a soft medium sized desk mat really makes working at a desk a lot more pleasant to the touch as it does a great job of not only protecting the work surface but visually grounding my peripherals together a bit like how a rug ties furniture together in a living area. I decided to go for this grey synthetic leather desk mat to match the metal of the desk shelf and because it's also relatively inexpensive it means I don't have to worry about damaging it with things like heat or condensation from cold drinks so it makes it a bit like having a giant coaster for my fancy desk. When it comes to lighting, despite the ambient LED strips doing a great job of lighting the space behind the monitor, I also added in a light bar that I got sent from BenQ, which again is simply powered off the back of the monitor, and the brightness and colour temperature can be set to whatever your preference is using the wireless battery powered control wheel. In the past the problem that I've had with light bars is that they often leave no space for a webcam, however this one solves my problem with a small magnetic adapter that lets me seamlessly mount my Logitech Brio above it and continue using Windows Hello to unlock my PC every time that I return to it. Although my monitor speakers may be fine for occasional YouTube videos or podcasts, they are most definitely not clear enough for editing, gaming or listening to music. So right now I almost exclusively use my headphones which are the Bose NC700s and as you can probably see they get a ton of daily use. To keep these conveniently on hand without ruining my uncluttered aesthetic, I installed a simple headphone hook and white pen drawer next to the desk interface, which not only keeps my headphones out of sight, but also makes this a hidden spot for pens and other small items. Finally, for the chair, I honestly believe that this chair is the best one you can buy for the money, as it's surprisingly comfortable and supportive without looking like it belongs in an accounting office. 
This chair that I won't attempt to pronounce is from Ikea, which I also had a version of with my last setup. However, this time I went for a low back version as I think it looks even more at home in a spare bedroom or living area without being any noticeably less comfortable. And as with a standing desk, the whole idea is to spend less time seated, this low back chair effortlessly slides underneath it with some upgraded rollerblade wheels, which are far less abrasive to carpets and hard floors. With the high refresh rate 4K monitor and hidden ITX PC, I think this might be the most minimal, most versatile, and most powerful setup you can have, and I'm incredibly excited to continue using this to make content for you guys each week. Of course, I've left links to everything in this video down in the description box below, and if you haven't already, you may also enjoy checking out some of my other setup videos and redesigns too. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.